The 2011 season was the Denver Broncos' 42nd in the National Football League NFL, and their 52nd overall. It also marked their first season under head coach John Fox, as well as the first with John Elway as the team's executive vice president of football operations. On July 25, the NFLPA and NFL owners agreed on a new collective bargaining agreement, which was ratified on August 4. The Broncos training camp began on July 28 at the team headquarters in Dove Valley, Colorado, and the preseason and regular season started on time. This was the first of five consecutive AFC West titles for the Broncos. The first five weeks of the season were dominated by a quarterback controversy involving Kyle Orton and Tim Tebow, with fans voicing their displeasure with the play of Orton, which resulted in a 1-4 start, and the public outcry for Tebow to be moved to starter. On October 11, Tebow was named the starting quarterback beginning with the team's Week 7 game at the Miami. Dolphins on October 23. Tebow compiled an 8-5 record, including the playoffs, with a six-game win streak from weeks 9-14. After replacing Orton, including game-winning drives in the fourth quarter and or overtime in six of those games. Despite constant criticism of his unorthodox mechanics and abilities as a passer, Orton was later waived on November 22. Another notable roster change was the trade that sent wide receiver Brandon Lloyd to the St. Louis Rams in exchange for a conditional 2012 draft selection. The Broncos doubled their win total from 2010, finishing in a three-way tie with the Oakland Raiders and San Diego Chargers for the AFC West division title with an 8-8 record. The Broncos, however, won the AFC West based on tiebreakers, thus clinching their first playoff berth and division title since 2005. The Broncos opened the playoffs with a 29-23 overtime win over the Pittsburgh Steelers in the wild card round but were blown out by the New England Patriots in the divisional round by a score of 45-10.